Hey, what's going on everyone? This is The Velvet Whisperer. I also go by the name of Mike. <laughs> That's my name, my name is Mike or Michael. So, but you can call me any of those things. Mike, Michael, Velvet, The Velvet Whisperer, whatever. But anyhow, today I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I've done before. And I've seen other ASMR artists do this. And I was like, yo, I want to try this too and actually I was going to do something that was similar to this but it was going to be at a different store and with different items but I hadn't had a chance to go to that store yet and I had to go to Whole Foods to make a quick run to get a couple things so I thought yo that's what I'll do I'll just make Whole Foods the center of this particular video so basically I have some items here in this bag that I want to unbox or unpack and just share with you all to kind of give you a typical Whole Foods um, grocery session that I would have. Now this is a little bit different because I only went to get a certain amount of things and I also had a budget. Well, I always have a budget when I go to Whole Foods and I never stick to my budget. In fact, this time I um, spent than I should have so but anyways um so what I'm going to show you are some items that I usually get now this isn't a full list of items I get at Whole Foods I usually get twice as much as this but like I said I only needed a couple things for um the next couple of days so I just decided to turn it into an ASMR unpacking video with you all and it's also going to be a slight taste test because there are a couple things in here that I really want to taste like now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the cold items first, and then I'm going to take those to the refrigerator and then continue with the dry items. Okay. All right. Organic, organic baby spinach. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's, it's organic baby spinach. And I usually um, put this in some of my smoothies so I can have like a vegetable smoothie. Um, and if I don't do that, then I'll just eat it raw sometimes. And it's washed, of course. Or I will cook it just for a couple of minutes, you know, until it's really tender and I'll season it and I'll have it with um, shrimp. Um, I'll also have it with eggs. Um, I'll have it with some type of meat. Um, and oh, I already said that, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, organic baby spinach. At one point, y'all, I got so sick of spinach and I stopped eating it for like a year. <laughs> And I, um, I started eating other vegetables, but yeah, it's always a go-to if I can't find anything else. I love spinach. Now that I'm like over the whole being sick of it. All right, so next.
50 um, shrimp per pound. And this is farmed raised, farm raised shrimp. And it's individually quick frozen. Um, it's responsibly farmed, it says. It's uh, 16 ounces. Um, and on the back, it gives the directions on how to cook it, you know. And for me, I like to have the shrimp with the spinach or I'll eat the shrimp plain. Um, by plain meaning by itself, I definitely season my shrimp. <laughs> Salt, pepper, um, I like to put chipotle pepper on my shrimp. And uh, what is that, what is that, uh, that seasoning called? It's like um, Old Bay, Old Bay. So I like to season with Old Bay sometimes. Um, sometimes I might have it with a type of noodle, like spaghetti noodles. Um, yeah, so I actually got tired of shrimp at one point as well, but I'm back on it now. So I love shrimp. I don't fry it though. I always grill it. Yeah, I never fry it. All right, let's get going. is ground buffalo and 16 ounces um, raised without antibiotics no added hormones um, the company is nature's rancher and it's one pound on the back it says buffalo cooking tips buffalo is delicious and can easily be substituted for your favorite beef recipe. Keep in mind, buffalo cooks quicker than beef and tastes best when cooked to medium. Enjoy. <laughs> All natural. Um, yeah, I, um, all right, let me stop beating this meat. And so he had this theory that you can eat right for your blood type. And so certain blood types, according to this theory, tend to um, adapt better to certain foods. And so they were saying for blood type O, particularly those of African descent, um, game is more healthy. If you're going to eat meat, game is more healthy than other type of meats. And so that would include like buffalo or... Um, other meats that weren't so easily accessible at Whole Foods. And so I said, well, I'll try the buffalo. And um, I like it. It's really good. And with that, I pretty much, I might put it as the meat for spaghetti. Um, I might just season it and just eat it with a vegetable. Um, but something I am going to try with it is I'm going to add some organic cheese to it. And then I'm going to um, eat it with a certain type of chip. You know, kind of like chips and dip, but it's going to be a dip with meat. Yeah, a dip with meat. So I actually learned that recipe from someone some years ago, and um, I wanted to try it on my own. So I'm going to do that. All right. So, um, speaking of which... So this is pepper jack, Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno peppers, and vegetarian, produced without added hormones, and this is 12 ounces. Um, But um, th 
this is the cheese I'm gonna add to the beef and eat with the chips, okay? So, and then I also use cheese for like in my eggs. Um, that's pretty much it. In my eggs, I'll add it to the beef. Um, I tried cheese on top of the shrimp once, but I didn't really like it. Mm. What else? I, I think there's something else I use it for, but I can't remember at the moment, so. This is yellowfin tuna salad. Let me tell you how I got on in this. I was in a podcast with my um, my group mates, my musical brothers, Dim. And wait, is that what I was doing? Yeah. And um, Eric, who's one of the members, showed up first, and he goes to Whole Foods as well. He's ha he actually got me into eating at Whole Foods. And so he, um, he had, I was so hungry and I didn't have a chance to eat and he didn't either. So he brought some food to eat for himself and, um, he had a salad and he put some yellowfin tuna salad on it and it smelled so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I told myself that the next time I went to Whole Foods, I was going to get some of that and I got some and I fell in love with it. And so I'll eat, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. I'll eat this with the uh, spinach or I'll also have more crackers. And I have the crackers in here, so I'll show you, so. Yeah, so. Yellowfin tuna salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think it's just a couple more cold things and then switch to the warm things. So, I actually have two of these. This next one, as you can see. I can't even tell if this is in focus or not. I'd be so mad if it's not. But anyways. This is Whole Foods, oh duh, um, organic pineapple chunks, okay. So, why did I get this? I haven't had pineapples in a while. It's another great um, fruit to have. And I just love pineapple. Oh gosh, I love pineapple. Um, sorry. Okay, I'm trying to do it softly. spinach or some other vegetable and or I'll just put it in my Nutribullet and just you know grind it up and just make pineapple juice you know so and I got two two <laughs>
So this is, and I think this is how you say it, Kavita. Kavita. Mm. Anyway, it's a sparkling probiotic drink. And the flavor, or the flavor, this flavor is lemon ginger. Um, let's see. It's active culture, has active cultures in it. It's handcrafted, um, USDA organic. Let's see. It's fermented water kefir culture. It has four strains of live probiotics. It's gluten-free, it's non-dairy, and it's vegan. This one is lemon cayenne. <laughs> so, matter of fact, let's see. Um, let's do this one. This second item, this dry item, well, the first of the dry items. I'm so addicted to this. <sighs> These chips, y'all just don't understand. I can crush this whole bag like in 30 minutes. snacks and these are tortilla chips it's made with organic yellow corn um gluten-free vegan and it is so good like it, you know it's my organic version of doritos and because i used to love doritos but um this is a much healthier choice I gotta have some.
Three more. It's my last one, I promise. Mm, 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 mm. And so, of course. Let's keep it moving. So I told you earlier that um, with the, uh, what is it called? Oh, the yellowfin tuna salad. I would have it with crackers. Sesame, black sesame, poppy, and flax seeds gives these crispy crackers their earthy texture and balanced taste made with brown rice flour for added whole grain. Okay, so this next thing is a guilty pleasure. So excited about food. Oh my gosh, that don't make no sense. Okay. Mmm, the buttery goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Reason why I call these a guilty pleasure is because they're high in sugar and I really try to stay away from sugar. Now there are certain sweeteners that I do enjoy like organic raw honey, um, sometimes stevia, but that's pretty Speaking of which,
So this is Raw Honey. And I'm trying a new brand. And um, it was, uh, this particular brand is closer to where I live. You know, because they take the honey that's local. So I'm curious to if I like it or not. I haven't tried it. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but it's kosher. Um, they they say they own their bees and they harvest and bottle the honey. Um, it's made in, Kentuck in the Kentucky Mountains. Um, this is 15.5 ounces and the ingredients is pure raw honey. And so with this, And I drink tea every day, so. All right, just a couple more things. This is deodorant. <laughs> natural deodorant and it's made with coconut oil um all natural deodorant aluminum free let me see something doesn't really have a smell actually yes it does and it's right there it's a strong smell actually i guess because i'm so used to the smell but it's called tea tree and so the ingredients include, oh, okay, well, it has tea tree oil in it, <laughs> okay, I still taste the, um, those chips, but anyways, it has tea tree oil, now, let me tell you a funny thing, with deodorant, I usually just get regular deodorant, but because every time I try natural deodorant, it's like it's not strong enough and I'm very active and so I need the deodorant to hold up and the first time I tried natural deodorant which was like some years ago um, it was a disaster I was still working at a law firm on my stomach I was still working at a law firm and um, I remember it was a hot day and I swear that natural deodorant that I had at that time ran out on me like after a couple hours and so I had to go to the store to get some regular deodorant that day at work um, and I stopped I said I'm not using it anymore but um a couple years fast forward to now I'm gonna give it another try so we're gonna see because I know some of these ingredients are extremely healthy and it's aluminum free and you know aluminum is what's been tied to um, certain negative reactions in the body. And so, I'm hoping it'll be okay. We'll see. I'll let y'all know. All right. Only have three more things. And they're kind of a combo. So, let me just do it at once. This is another cheat type um, item, but um, I love milk chocolate. And I don't eat these alone. I have it with something that is so addictive, y'all. cookie butter <gasps> it is so damn addictive oh my gosh oh my goodness oh my goodness I guess I have some food addictions food porn but this now this um I already had so I just put this in a bag but I already had 
like this. And this cookie butter, y'all. Mm. Dream spread cookie butter. Creamy. Creamy spread made with cinnamon spice cookies. And when you add this to this, oh, Now, stuff like this, this cookie butter with the milk chocolate and the, um, oh, and these, I don't get those every time I go to Whole Foods because I consider them like cheat, cheat items, cheat snacks, you know, well, okay, no, the chips I get all the time, but the milk chocolate, this, and the peanuts, I don't get those all the time, so. It was time to kind of indulge a little bit, you know? But I won't go too crazy. But it's so fucking good, oh my goodness. All right. Oh, well, that's it. Oh, well. This would be the receipt. The receipt that tells me I went $15 over my budget. I gotta do better, y'all. I say that all the time now. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to do with this video. I wanted to take a chance to do an unpacking type, oh, it's my knee, unpacking type, share type, um, I don't know what else they call it, uh, reveal, whatever. And uh, just some items I like to get at Whole Foods. Like I said, I usually get like twice as much. It'll be all different types of items, but some of these that you saw, are pretty consistent for me when I go there. You know, it's my favorite store to get groceries at. Um, but it is expensive, <laughs> but it is worth it. If there's anything that I'm going to um, spend a lot of money on, it's gonna be my health. And that includes what I eat, uh, what I put on or in my body. You know, I, I'll spend money on that before certain types of clothes you know what I mean so that's important to me and not everything that I shared today is absolutely healthy like clearly with some cheat stuff but um but I've you know I really try to stay away from processed foods and um stuff like that so but anyways yeah that's it so I will see you all in the next video Alright.